don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. We're going to talk more football. If you're new to the channel, I advise subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to get more updates on this channel. So guys, breaking news here. As you all know, I, a year ago exactly, I think, I brought you a story on Ghanaian, former Ghanaian player Junior Gogo. For those of you who don't remember Junior Gogo, watch, let's watch this clip from his early days as a player in the Cannes 2008 for Ghana. So that was Junior Agogo there and you can see, as you can see, he was a great player for the Ghana Black Stars. He played a great game for us when he was playing for us. At that time, we did so well in the Cannes 2008. Unfortunately, we couldn't lift the cap on home soil. For Junior Agogo, he fell into some, he, he got into some downfall. So he was part of the Cannes 2008 squad and he was playing for Nottingham Forest around that time. I don't, Nottingham Forest is in England. So, Junior Agogo left Nottingham Forest for Zamalek, but nine months later, he terminated his contract saying that they had not paid him his arrears, his salary arrears for nine months. Now, Zamalek were not willing to pay that money. They did not want to pay Agogo that money. Now, Agogo has struggled a lot for some time now. He has been struggling to make ends meet and all that. Recently, he suffered a stroke and he, it, he felt abandoned by most of the people around him. It was his mother, according to him, that was looking after him. Those people that he used to roll with, most of them abandoned him and Agogo was grieving seriously. Richard Kingston recently came out and said that he was sorry for the way they abandoned the black, their fellow teammate Junior Agogo. Now Agogo was a real trend back in the day when he scored a goal. Most of the girls loved him. Team with Asamoah Jan, Andrea, you when they were very young, they were part of the a great, great Black Star squad. They did so amazingly well. Got as far as the semi final where they were eliminated by Cameroon. So now Agogo came out. And when Richard Kingston came out and apologized that his they had left their teammate abandoned. And now Agogo was playing with Zama. Like as you all know, he suffered a stroke. That stroke left him really down. His mother was taking care of him and they were staying in England. Now, Zamalek had still not paid him his arrears. They had still not paid him arrears and Agogo threatened, went to report them to FIFA. Now FIFA gave Zamalek the ultimatum to pay him or they would be deducted some points. Now Zamalek didn't want to be deducted the points and it's obvious they had to find a way to pay Agogo and get that issue out of the way. So Junior Agogo now has been settled fully. The settlement has finally come. Settlement of $450,000. That's a lot of money. $450,000 arrears that they had paid him. They are supposed to pay him. If I gave Zamalek a 90-day ultimatum, 
now Zamalek are top of their league and that 90 day ultimatum has reached and they have now settled Junior Google his arrears in full of $450,000. I think this is great news for Junior Google. I'm really happy for him. I'm really happy he has finally gotten back on his feet. So now Ajibogo has been settled by Zamalek. Zamalek have settled their arrears in Google Google after their 90 day ultimatum given them by fifa if they had not paid junior gogo his money he would have they would have had points deducted from them and that would have affected them since they are now sitting pretty at the top of the league so junior gogo has been through a hard time i'm really happy for him after suffering stroke he's still dealing recovering from the stroke he suffered his mom is taking care of him and wish him the very best i think this is a really great news for him Junior Agogo has been finally settled his arrears, salary arrears by Zamalek. Now to my next story and as we all know I brought you a video about the Ghana thinking of hosting the AFCON 2019. Now a list of countries also came up as to who could eligibly host the AFCON 2019 and there were so many names popping up, Morocco, Egypt, South Africa, Ghana also in Nigeria and so so many others. Now finally um, CAF as I told you, the Friday was the deadline for the submission of countries who wanted to host the AFCON 2019 and that, that deadline has passed. Friday 10pm was the deadline. Now it's come out that now we know the country that is going to host the two countries that have bid for the AF rights to host the AFCON 2019 and they are Egypt and south africa egypt and south africa submitted bids they are the only two countries that submitted bids for the afcon 2019 hosting rights so that is the breaking news also the breaking news that egypt are in contention to host the afcon 2019 so that has been it for today guys i don't know what you think about egypt and south africa i think south africa will be most people's favorite now CAF has revealed that it will announce the winner of that bid in the extraordinary conference on the 9th of january 2019 so the 9th of january 2019 we will know who won who will be hosting the afcon 2019 now ghana unfortunately though the this minister the minister of sports was indicating that we could host it i don't know why he didn't place a bid for the afcon 2019 it's quite interesting there to see he couldn't place a bid for them. Ghana couldn't place a bid. Nigeria, as I suggested, were not going to place a bid. And also Morocco were already out. They did not place a bid. They are focusing on the 2030 um, World Cup, 2030 World Cup bid. I think that's what they're interested in. After missing out on the 2026 World Cup bid. So Agogo is back. I'm really happy for him. We now know the two countries that could probably host the AFCON 2019 and those countries are Egypt and South Africa. Egypt and South Africa are the two countries that could probably host AFCON 2019. Let me know what you think about that in the comments box. Do you think Egypt and South Africa are the best fit to host the AFCON 2019? Remember it's the first time we are hosting 24 countries. South Africa has hosted a World Cup in 2010 before. They hosted the AFCON in 2013 also before and They've hosted a lot of international tournaments. They've, they recently bid for the Rugby World Cup, which they missed out on to France, I think, yeah. They missed out on that. And Egypt to have the facilities. Recently, I posted a story on my website, sahafootball.net. Egypt have the necessary facilities. They have the stadium. There are pictures all over social media. They are ready to host this tournament. They mean business. They really do mean business, Egypt here. And I think this is great news for African football. I think it's great to see that the African teams are ready to host any tournament like this. Unfortunately, Cameroon could not make it. Cameroon could not make it in time in terms of facilities. So, six months, the countdown, AFCON 2019. We wish the best teams make it to the tournament. And I'll be bringing you guys performances of Ghanaian players abroad. As Samoa Jan scored a goal from the bench as a substitute for his team, Kayseri Sport. I'll be bringing you that highlight. And also a reaction to the Asante Kotoko game. Asante Kotoko really disappointed most people on Sunday, but their coach seems very content with that result. I'll bring you more news on that and more reaction on that on that game. So that has been it for today, guys. Junior Gogo wishing the very best. We hope that this money he gets will help him survive and maintain his lifestyle after suffering from the stroke a year ago. 
I'll bring you more updates when as and when I get them. This has been Sahara Football. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Twitter, we are at Sahara Football. On Instagram, we are Sahara Football. That has been it for today. I've been your host, Celeste Fiawi. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.